seen Miss Vicky live on the set of my own home green screen. Okay, today I do have a challenge for you. It's challenge number five. That's right, challenge number five. Okay, all you need for this challenge is some paper and a pen, pretty much it, or a pencil or a crayon or whatever you have. Um, and the name of this challenge, I love this, is Spontaneous Stories. But before you create your spontaneous stories, you do need to be prepared. You are going to create a little board similar to this or piles, whatever you want. You're gonna make a pile of places, a pile of things like crowns and clouds, places like the moon, outer space, things like that. Then you're gonna make some feelings like love and sad and happy. We're gonna go back to our feelings. Then you're gonna make a list of people. I have my mom here, but in the video, I chose my friend Brooke. So there you go, it could be anyone. And then the last thing is animals. And for fun, I added sounds. Anyways, and then I thought of a number, but you could also roll a die and see what it lands on. If it lands on one, try to tell a story about one of the items. If it lands on two, you could choose two items and try to tell a story. Three, four, etc. Um, anyways, so because I had six categories, I chose six as the number and I chose six different pieces of paper. Or no, yeah, I had six. Okay. So this is what I chose and I didn't choose them all from different categories. I chose a couple randomly. So this is the story about my friend Brooke, lightning, her cat, being sad, seeing a star, and then being happy again about her cat. Okay. So be spontaneous, be creative, have fun, May maybe record your story. Um, you could audio share it with some friends or you could retell it to your family um, or a neighbor through the window. I don't know. Anyways, be spontaneous, be creative and have some fun. And I'll see you next time for challenge number So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw it and you can do this on any paper and you can cut them up into little pieces but you're gonna draw a bunch of people think of maybe some family members or friends um, they could also be um, characters from another book like Cinderella or anything like that so I'm gonna draw something that represents also gonna do a picture of okay um, I'm also gonna ask that you make some feelings so you don't have to write the words you could just draw a picture so here's an example this is a picture that represents sad so this is a person crying. So if we're gonna have people, feelings, this is gonna represent being feeling loved. Then what you're gonna do is do, um, create some items or things. Like a cloud. A crown. A star. Also make some places. Outer space. So I'm making some stars. There's the moon. Um, and maybe there's a rocket ship kind of traveling in outer space. And this one's the mountains. And then you 
can make as many categories as you want. So I'm also going to include some animals. I'm also going to add another category. I'm going to write animals because I love animals. Um, and they can be mythical animals. They don't have to be real animals. They could be your teddy bear um, that you that you love so much. Um, I'm gonna make a little butterfly to represent a butterfly. Okay, there's my butterfly. Um, I'm also gonna do maybe a unicorn. That's another fun one. You could also make some sounds and you can decide what your sounds are. So this will be the sound of a horn. Um, that's a squeezy horn. It doesn't look like a horn. Maybe I'll do that one again. This is the sound of a horn. We'll try it again. This is one of those squeezy horns that you squeeze the back and it and it makes um, a right horn so we know that's a horn. Um, this is, so that would be meep meep. Um, the sound of a car. Um, um, maybe the sound of lightning. So there you have your spontaneous story items. Then, you can think of a number. I happen to have one, two, three, four, five, six categories. So I'm thinking of the number six. So I'm going to pull out any six pieces of paper, um, but you don't have to look at them. You can fold them up. You can see so you don't even know what they are, um, but I'm closing my eyes and I'm just picking six pieces of paper. One. pieces of paper. Next. All right, here's what I chose. I have a, my friend Brooke. I have the feeling sad. I have the feeling happy. And I have the feeling, I have the animal I don't have any sounds. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I forgot one. Sorry, I do. I have lightning. Okay, so then you take these items and you try to tell a story. All right. So I'm gonna try to make up a story right now based off these items. Hmm. Okay, I sort of have something going on. And you can get silly with it. It could be serious. It could be not silly. 
could be anything you want. This is your story. It's your spontaneous story that you're creating. Brooke was sitting in her living room when she heard lightning strike. Meow! Her cat meowed and screamed and scratched at the door and ran away. Brooke became very sad. She couldn't find her cat. She looked day and night and day and night. Finally, she looked up and saw a star twinkling. (gasps) Could it be? She then became very happy because hiding in a tree, she saw her cat. The end. So you can do that again and again and come up with as many stories as you want. Bye! Feeling stuck at home, wondering what to do. Let spontaneous creations inspire you. Use your mind and imagination. Sprinkle in some fun, spontaneous creations.